Run May has been an absolute game changer. Not just for me, I think for anyone that has pulled for her and just the game at large. Run May has enabled what is essentially the game's forefront mechanic that they've not really done much with since the beginning, and that is Break Effect. Now, Break Effect at the start of the game, I think everyone generally understood what it did, but there wasn't anything that really utilized it to its prominence. Kind of like how in Genshin, reactions were, you know, the main feature of the game, yet, you know, not many people played reactions because crit damage was the meta. And then Mihoyo put more effort into the reactions themselves and characters that provide those reactions. And then all of a sudden, reaction meta became the main way of dealing damage in the game. And that seems to be what's happened here. Hoyo have, have looked at Star Rail and gone, huh, we have this cool mechanic known as Break Effect, and yet we don't really have much use for it. How do we solve that? We have Run Mei. Obviously, there have been other characters that utilize Break Effect. Everyone uses Break Effect in some way. Not in the way Run Mei does it, though. Let's just have a cheeky look at what Run Mei does and why she is just so, so good. We have a basic attack. Fairly boring. We have her skill. After using her skill, Run Mei gains overtone, lasting three turns. This duration decreases by one at the start of Run Mei's turn. When Run Mei has overtone, all allies damage increases by 20.8% and weakness break efficiency increases by 50%. The percentages are going to be a little bit skewed because of the levels, but you get the general gist. When she uses her skill, everyone just does slightly more damage and their weakness break efficiency is increased by half. That is very good. Plus, you can have the added bonus of for every 10% of Run May's break effect that exceeds 120%, her skill additionally increases allies damage by 6% to a maximum of 36%. So essentially, as long as she's got 180 break effect from whatever, when this is active, allies will do 36% damage as well. Bonkers. Incredible, incredible buffs. Her talent increases speed by 8.6%. I think it's originally 8%. I could be wrong. I think it's 8%. For the entire team, excluding her, unfortunately. When allies break an enemy's target weakness, Runmei deals to this enemy target break damage equal to 78% of her ice break damage. You know, her ice break damage, not too fussed by. The increased speed of, you know, I'm presuming maximum is going to be close to 10%, potentially. That's crazy. Additional bonuses effect bonus effect increases break effect by 20% for all allies. And on top of that, Runmei regenerates 5 energy at the start of her turn. You're going to want to be ulting with her the entire time. That's a given with pretty much any character. So any energy regen is great. Her technique is very long. After using the technique, it gains Silken Serenade at the start of the next battle, automatically triggers the skill for one time without consuming a skill point. And then weirdly enough, in simulated universe only, when Runmei has Silken Serenade, the team actively attacking enemies will always be regarded as attacking their weakness to enter battle. This attack can reduce all enemies toughness regardless of weakness types. When breaking weakness triggers weakness break effect corresponding to the attacker's type for every blessing in possession up to a maximum of 20 blessings. Additionally increasing the, the toughness reducing damage of this attack by 100%. After breaking an enemy's target weakness additionally deals to the enemy target break damage equal to 100% of Runmei's ice break damage. That is a mouthful but it pretty much just says in simulated universe Runmei is an insane character to have on your team because she makes all of the damage even more damaging. Which is crazy because her kit already does that. And then to top it off we have her ultimate. Where her ultimate deploys a field that lasts for two turns the field's duration decreases by one at the start of her turn. While inside the field all allies all type resistance penetration increases by whatever level it currently is minus 19% and their attacks and their attacks apply Fanatiplum Rebloom to the enemy's hit. Allow me to just read out what this does. When these enemies attempt to recover from weakness break, Fanatiplum Rebloom is triggered, extending the duration of their weakness break, delaying their action by an amount equal to 20% of Runmei's break effect plus 10% and dealing break damage equal to 38% of Runmei's ice break damage. Enemy targets cannot have rebloom reapplied to them until they recover from weakness break. So essentially, when she ults and they are weakness broken and they have the rebloom on, when they are about to recover from weakness break and finally have access to their turn again, the game says no, 
that will not be happening. Try again next time. So instead of waking up from their weakness break, they stay weakness broken. They go back down the delay board and then they have to go again. It's absolutely crazy. And then you combine that with someone like Welt who can time delay. I saw one person's YouTube video on a time delay team. It was insane just watching the AI just was not allowed to do any damage back because they were almost permanently delayed. It was absolutely crazy. Runme is an absolute game changer. Runme is fantastic. If you have yet to pull Runme, I would highly highly recommend it. She is so strong. She is very similar to Bronya in a very different way. She is essentially a universal support. She is one of those characters you can put in pretty much any team exactly like Bronya and she is going to do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Even with little effort, a half decently built run mate is just so incredibly strong. She's an absolute game changer. She makes certain content just incredibly easy and that's coming from a player that plays almost exclusively in AI. For anyone that, you know, actually plays the game properly and thinks out each of their turns, the amount of value you get off that you get off of someone like Runmei is absolutely phenomenal. Runmei is honestly a character that is going to have completely changed the way everyone thinks about Break Effect. Because all of a sudden, she enables so many more characters. Someone like Jing Yun, for instance is all of a sudden so much more useful because his break effect and efficiency with Lightning Lord is so good. But then on the top of that, he allows someone for Himiko to enjoy the benefits of breaking effect a lot more, allowing for her follow-up talent to pop off even more. Then you've got characters like Sushong, who hasn't really seen much love or attention since the game came out, who benefits from characters being broken in the first place. There's, she just enables so much. Runmei is a character I initially wasn't going to pull for, and then I saw all of the stuff she could do and thought, there's no way I'm missing this character. It's way too, she's way too good to not have on your account. And as it turns out, I wasn't wrong, and neither were anyone else that's pulled for her. She's just far too good. Runmei, if you can afford to go for her this patch, is a character you need to have on your team. She absolutely changes the game. Now, obviously, she's not going to fit in every single team, but she'll come pretty close. Let's put it that way. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Pretty much just wanted to gush about how insanely good Run May is. It's just absolutely crazy. And I can't I can't wait to see what else she can do with some of the newer characters because we've got 2.0 coming up and I honestly cannot wait. Although my Stella Jade can because it's it could be in a better position. But uh, that's a me problem. Anyway, I will leave it there. What do you all think of Run May? Is she overhyped or is she just as strong as everyone is thinking? Honestly, she just seems really, really good. But that's my, that's my opinion anyway. With that though, I must say my goodbyes. Thank you for those that stuck around to the end. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, where hopefully we get a character anywhere near as good as Runmei. Until then though, I've been James, the mayor of Jamestown. Goodbye.